A community advocate is calling on Jacksonville's sheriff to look into their procedures as he's still unhappy with the amount of tickets he says are unfairly ridden towards the black community in Jacksonville. First Coast News reporter Nick Perot talked to that man and what he is asking of the sheriff. Nick. Anthony, good evening. Yes, the founder of the Northside Coalition of Jacksonville says he'd ideally like to see JSO stop writing tickets for pedestrian tickets altogether, such as jaywalking here, not using the crosswalk. He says that would build trust between JSO and the black community. The conversation is, do you think you can resolve this any other way other than court? Community advocate Ben Frazier says he'd prefer to see JSO stop writing what he calls unfair tickets to black people, primarily for jaywalking. We've already met with the sheriff. The sheriff is defensive. He is reluctant to address the issue of a moratorium, a suspension on the writing of these tickets. Frazier, the founder of the Northside Coalition of Jacksonville, met with the NAACP Legal Defense Fund Thursday to discuss whether court is the next step, as he argues too many black people are still unfairly getting tickets for jaywalking. We think it is abysmal. We think it is appalling. We think the sheriff needs to stop dancing around the truth. A Times Union report showed 55% of all pedestrian tickets over a five-year period from 2012 to 17 were issued to black people, even though they only account for 29% of the population in an article labeled Walking While Black. That money fuels that issue. Sheriff Williams says the number is actually 45%. But just last month in a panel discussion, Sheriff Williams admitted that implicit bias may have played a role in the disproportionate number of citations against black pedestrians. Whether it's 55 or 45 percent, Frazier says it does not make much of a difference to him. It's still too high and needs to change. We need to identify those processes, procedures and practices that are working to, uh, against black people in this town that are unfair and unjust, and we need to eliminate them. Back here live, our attempts to reach JSO for comment on Ben Frazier's latest outrage have been unsuccessful. Reporting live tonight in Jacksonville, Nick Perot, First Coast News, on your side.